Good morning, you guys, and welcome to another episode of Elevated Waters Fishing. Man, today is the day. It's Sunday. It looks like the fall transition is starting to take over. And yes, we're about to go out to one of the urban ponds in Vegas, Sunset Park. Let's go see if there's actually any bass still left up in here. So I actually went online today to see if I could find any information on Sunset Park. And one of the members of a forum actually said that there are no bass in Sunset Park. I just can't believe that because I've seen a lot of people online catching bass at Sunset Park. So let's go find out. If you like what you see, man, hit that subscribe button. You already know what it is. This is your boy, Perry Waters, Elevated Waters Fishing. Let's do this. Yep, this is the setup we're going out to Sunset Park with today. Seven rods and reels, really eight, but one of them is my boy, Rob's. He's about to be over here to go, you know what I mean? You know how we do it. So today I think we're gonna use the slow retrieve method. We're just gonna use some of these straight tail robo worms and we'll probably end up going to the Sankos. I mean, you can't go wrong with a Sanko, man. Like if there is bass in the pond, they're gonna hit the straight tail worm or the Sanko. Can't go wrong, man. Let's go do this. Yeah, I also got these new hooks. They're specialty wacky rig hooks. That I'm about to try on these Cinco's, man. Like, I am interested to see what the bass do when I rig this like this. It also comes with like a little weedless little skirt for the front. And voila, look at that. You can't go wrong with that, man. They're gonna love that, look at that. Let's get out there, let's go get them. Upon arriving to the water, we noticed about five to six huge schools of baby carp. Carp are an invasive species known to ruin thriving bass populations in ponds and lakes. There are no trees or brush to get in your way at Sunset Park, so casting should be a breeze. Take your time. Have a good time. Don't forget to try the pier on the southeast side of the pond. There's also some structure and power poles under it. This could be an effective spot for your drop shot. A lot of times when you come out here with these bait casters, if you overcast them, they're gonna nest what we call birds nest up like this and you just have to be patient with it take your time and get the knot out don't pull it too hard just you know work with it and then eventually come out you just got to take your time and be patient this happens a lot with bait casters It is essential to make long parallel casts to the bank. Make sure you key in on running water that is providing oxygen to the lake. Thank you for supporting Elevated Waters TV. Please make sure you hit that subscribe button, share with all your friends, and hit that like. Oh, 
And also make sure you hit that notification button. Thanks.